Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're doing my favorite type of tutorial and that is animated typography. This is my second part. I'm going to be trying to do one of these every single week because there's so many ways to do animated typography and it's just fun to create. In this video, we're going to this awesome animated typography that you saw in the demo. And before you jump in, I'll take 20 seconds to say a quick shout out to Video Hive. If you are looking for top of line, high quality typography templates, or if you're just looking for inspiration and ideas how to create your own typography titles, go ahead and click our links in the video description and it'll take you to to these templates that we're showing right now that are top of line high quality ready to go that will either save you time or help you find the inspiration you need to create an awesome project so let's go ahead and jump this video and let's get started so the most important thing is always the typeface without a good typeface this is never going to look great so the typeface i'm using is beatpaz new oo for this and i'm going to type out sunduck and i'm going to use two different words here so i'm going to do sunduck film but i'm going to keep film as a separate word even though part of our branding it is one word and we'll select both titles move the line tab and center these up and then we'll just move film over to be about right there awesome and we've just selected i can make a word a gradient so maybe i'll go to effect generate gradient ramp and i'll just move these points down in time so we can have a little bit more control over this and i'm going to change the color over here to maybe like a red and I'm going to select this other color and do another red here just and then maybe go down to like blue or something like that. Maybe it makes it a little bit more bright. And we'll just do it kind of like that. And I like doing it this way because it's easier for me to control it than doing like a layer gradient ramp. So now we have our main title in here. And if we want to do say a subtitle as well, so perhaps we could do like tutorials or something. And you know what? I'm going to actually use, I'm going to set this to Lotto and set this to regular so now we have some good contrast between our main title and subtitle and put this right underneath here and it looks good so what I want to do is use shapes to reveal this on and we're gonna do some awesome shape animation in here so we'll grab like the rectangle tool click on the word fill set this to none click on the word stroke and we'll set this to solid color click OK and all I want to do is create a box around our main title and of course you might want to set the stroke count down to maybe like five or so I'm using seven that should be good now let's come here to add and let's add trim paths and let's open up the trim paths layer let's go ahead and increase the offset a little bit to start somewhere else and as we increase the start percentage we'll see that it's going to wrap around like this so let's add a keyframe for start percentage and also add a keyframe for end percentage and you can move the end percentage keyframe just forward in time by a little bit move forward in time and we can set the start percentage to zero percent and also the end percentage to zero percent and move that end keyframe forward in time so this way now this is what we'll have and we'll take both of the last end keyframes and we can drag these out in time and this will make the line a little bit longer. Cool. And we'll grab all the keyframes here and make them easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So as soon as we kind of get this U bracket here, I want to animate our title in. So let's hit P on keyboard for our main title or your first title here, whatever. Maybe you only work in one title, that's fine. So add a keyframe for position and you can move this keyframe forward in time. And I'm going to set the X position all the way off the screen like this. So now this comes in and that should be revealed on like that. We might need to make this a little bit quicker. We'll make both we'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And this is essentially what we get. And then we'll want to do the same thing for the film or the second title if you have one. But P on keyboard for position. And we'll move this keyframe forward in time. And we'll make this come off here to this side. We'll make the last keyframe an easy ease keyframe by hitting F9. So essentially this is what you have. And now we can grab both of the titles here and we can pre-compose them by going to layer, pre-compose, and we can call it main title. Click OK. Now what's important here, we grab the rectangle tool and we draw a mask over the rectangle that's animating. So now these will kind of animate on from the outside. Like that. And now what we can do is maybe even take shape layer one here, duplicate it by going up to edit, duplicate. We can move this back in time hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We can move the end keyframes in by a little bit and this will make the line even shorter so we have a nice you know, short line coming in here. And that looks cool. So this is what we have at the moment. Our title is being revealed on by the stroke of the line and that looks pretty cool. And now we want to animate on our subtitle and we want to be able to take the same elements from what we've already created. So what we've already created was we have this gradient here and we also have this light, white line. So what I want to do here is maybe grab like the rectangle tool 
and we'll draw a nice box like this. Make sure we turn on the fill and we'll turn off the stroke. And we'll set this color to white. And from here, I want to copy the gradient of our text here. Copy that and paste it onto the new shape layer. And make sure we'll put this layer underneath our subtitle. And it's very important that we'll center up this layer. So now we want to animate this layer to come in. And maybe what we can do is go to the rectangle path. And we can break the chain for size. And we'll animate this on right here. So we'll add a keyframe for size. We'll move this uh, keyframe forward in time. And we'll set the Y size to zero. And that's what we have there. And we can even do like hit shift P on our keyboard for position. We can add a keyframe for position down here. Move this keyframe forward in time. And we can even have this animate upward so it can come from the actual stroke of the animated line. And you basically just get this like that. And that looks cool. So now what we can do is duplicate the shape layer. Put it on top of our subtitle. Set our subtitle layer to alpha matte. So now our subtitle will be animated on just like that. And let's say we want to add just a little bit more of an accent to this. So what we can do is duplicate our shape layer three again, uh, just hide the gradient ramp, and we can push this layer underneath our you know subtitle layer here and move this layer forward in time. And now as AMA is on, you get this extra white layer like this. And of course, make sure you make all your keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. All right, so essentially, this is kind of what we have at the moment. And that's a very nice way to animate your text on using shapes and just being very strategic with how you overlay things. And now we can get even more creative with this and we can maybe just animate, you know, some extra animation to the overall title. So we'll go up to layer new null object. We can parent all of our layers except for the background if you have one to the null object. And maybe what we'll do here is hit S on keyboard for scale. Maybe at this moment in time, we'll add a keyframe for scale, right? When the title's fully on and we'll move forward here and we'll set the scale in by a touch. So right at this moment in time, I would like this to scale inward by a touch. And just adding the scale animation here just adds just a little bit more dynamics to the text and really makes it, you know, more important, if you will. And also we can hit R on keyboard for rotation and we can go to the first keyframe here. Maybe we'll have like a little bit of a rotation on it. So we'll add a keyframe there. So we set it to 15 degrees. And then right at that moment when it's, you know, jump scales, we can set it down to zero. So basically it'll just be animating in this entire time, just like this. And that's just a cool technique that you can add. And always remember to turn on motion blur, turn it on the side, and turn it on the top, and you should be good to go. Let's go ahead and render out what we have. All right, and after our render, this is what we have. And it looks really cool. I really like this title, very clean, very nice animated typography here, animated title, if you will. And it looks really good. So, so I hope you guys were able to take away several techniques away from this video. Remember, it's all about your typography, the design of the text, and how you animate it in. There's a lot of cool techniques that go into this sort of thing. That's why I enjoy doing it. And remember, there's over like 4,000 typography templates over at Video Hive. If you're looking for inspiration, go ahead and check these out because you can get some amazing ideas. And I actually challenge you to recreate what you see on here. That's honestly one of the best ways to learn. And if you're in a time crunch and you don't have a lot of time to produce a project, these templates will help you save a ton of time. And they're absolutely universal for most of your projects. So, so I go ahead. So I encourage you to check our links in the description that will help you find the inspiration and the templates that you need. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed to Sunduck Film, we produce two to three After Effects tutorials every single week. So please smash that subscribe button and drop a like while you're at it because it helps us out tremendously. Hit us up on our social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.